It's been a while since I've returned to the world of Ease, but when I heard the Vita's Ease Memories of Salsetta was coming to PS4, I wanted to give it a try, and Xseed was nice enough to provide me with a code to do so. While the graphical style of Memories of Salsetta shows its age a little, it makes up for that with sharpness and performance, running at a slick 60 frames per second, which makes its action feel comparable to more recent Ease games because of it. And with a world so fun to explore thanks to the many items and abilities you can use to tackle different obstacles on the map, Memories of Salsetta Falsetto was a great reminder of why I want to play more Ease games. As expected of an Ease game, Ease Memories of Salsetta follows adventurer Adol Kristen, a boy with a strong desire to see the world. His adventures take him to the area of Salsetta, where he awakens in a town with his memories lost. But in spite of this, Adol's curiosity still gets the better of him, leading him to the city mine where he finds a memory, and with the help of a friend fights a big monster that helps the town miners escape, an act that gives him the notoriety to make the Governor General take notice and request him to map out the Great Forest of Salsetta, which marks the beginning of his new adventure into a forest where few have returned from. With this, he sets out in the name of exploration and getting his memories back, making friends that have their own purposes on the way as they travel through the world and find its many mysteries. My last Ease game was easy, and I really enjoyed the story and the way its island mystery unfolded, so in my 20 hours with Salsetta, I was really pleased to see this trend continue. Each place and person you meet in Salsetta has some kind of history, either with the world or with Adol, so in everything you do, the story becomes becomes more meaningful as you play, with the option of making the story even deeper by finding additional memory fragments on the map, giving this story the potential to have as much depth as you'd like. I mostly stuck to the core story, but everything I learned about it helped it lead to a great conclusion that made each hour feel worthwhile. So if you've played an Ease game before and enjoyed the plot, expect to feel the same kind of satisfaction but with new themes and a new world to explore in Salsetta. And as Falcom seems to do well, the richness of its character stories and world's politics may discover this new one a task that was easy to get sucked into. Another thing that will be familiar to those who have played other Ease games is its action gameplay, as despite it being an older Ease game, it's just as fast-paced as more recent ones had me expecting. The basic combat flow consists of hitting an enemy with a basic attack, filling up your skill points, and then unleashing them to fill up your extra gauge, and then you can finish them off with your cool special attack alongside plenty of dodging and guarding that's necessary thanks to how challenging its bosses are. I was impressed with how engaging this system was from the very first boss, as not only does it move quickly, it's genuinely challenging, which encourages you to get good at the skills and moves you have at your disposal. There were multiple battles I beat with that one health point hanging by a thread, and this taught me the importance of blocking and guarding quickly, with things like flash moves that slow enemies down becoming incredibly valuable and satisfying to do every time, making the way it keeps you try and play well and time everything just right keep you on your toes, and that goes for all of its difficulties. This combat is also coupled with a decent sized party that all serve different purposes and it can be satisfying when you pair the right ones together. Like when I had Durin punching enemies into the air and then Karner jumping in to finish them off. And this along with equipment that has cool effects like items that can turn gold into XP, and I can see there being some pretty interesting party builds if you dive even deeper into this side of things. Characters are also important when it comes to exploration. Each character has a special ability that can help you get through certain areas, whether it's breaking down walls or cutting things down to make a path. And these plus special exploration items that do other things to get you through means exploring never feels like you're just running through a field as there's always something to keep your attention on the world. And with areas that are already full of history and intrigue in the story, everything makes it easy to keep engaged in the world, especially when it brings in things like fascinating puzzles that add variety, and from story to gameplay there's always something to add that while traveling across the big map. Because of this, Salsetta really was a joy to explore, and many times I didn't notice the hours going by as I played, bar maybe a couple of times when I got lost when the plot was slightly vague on where to go next, but otherwise everything works together to create an enjoyable and engaging experience that I think would appeal to those looking for a good new JRPG world to explore. 
The reason I played Eve's Memories of Salsetta now was because of this PS4 version, and if you're a console player like myself, this is a fantastic way to play it, especially since it's pretty affordable. If you compare its slick frame rate and sharpened visuals to the original PS Vita version from the trailers, this remaster feels like what I'd rather play despite the fact I also own and love a Vita. While the shop looking UI for whatever reason chose to keep the look of the Vita with the menu touch shortcuts still on the screen most of the time, control wise everything is optimized so you can play this version completely with your PS4 controller and enjoy it fully in this new and smooth form. If you don't have a PS4, while I haven't tried it, the PC version also looks pretty comparable to the 3 Master 2, but I haven't played it myself so I don't want to say too much. If you've played that version, feel free to comment below and let myself and others know if the PC version is worth it as well, but otherwise I recommend the PS4 version as the best way to play if you're a console player. And however you play, if you're into Ease, Falcon games, or JRPGs with good action exploration, I'd say that this game is worth looking into in general. Jumping into the world at Ease again was a pleasure to do, thanks to this game's well done world and it hit a lot of things I love about JRPGs, thanks to its satisfying gameplay, reasons to keep playing, and charm in its dialogue and world. I did get this game while I was reviewing another, so unfortunately I won't be jumping into any more of it soon, but with some of the stuff you can unlock in Clear Data and difficulties that I'm sure would provide a great challenge, it's an experience I hope to return to sometime, and has me hoping that we hear about more Ease games making their way west soon, as this has solidified the fact that I want to play more of the series. There's a good amount of JRPGs around right now, with good story, JRPG action, and areas to explore, and if you're a fan of those kinds of games, I'd recommend giving Ease Memories of Salsetta a look too. Discovering the mysteries of Salsetta with all the ways you can explore it was something that kept me going in its world for hours at a time, and its slick action is easily comparable to modern Ease games with its speedy gameplay that is addictive to use and easy to play if you've done it before. While I always thought Memories of Salsetta was a game I would try on my Vita, I'm glad I waited for this version so I could play it in such a smooth form. And with more interesting looking Ease games floating around in Japan, I hope we hear more from the Ease series soon. Thank you for watching this video, let me know in the comments below if you're going to try Eve's Memories of Salsetta, and if you already have, what did you think of it? And just so you know, if you're in the US, Eve's Memories of Salsetta is already out, and if you're in Europe, you can expect to find it on the 19th. You can like and share this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel for more JRPG content like this, and ring that bell to get notifications on whenever I post so you don't miss a thing. You can check out more videos here, and you can find me on social media, on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at JRPG Jungle. Links to those will be in the description below. Thank you again to Xseed for the code, and until next time, thank you, bye!